common tools plus primitive tool toolbar is right here with modifying keys notice this key this one here it's for scaling to selection <clears throat> has also preferences for each of the for each of these also has pill uh, scale to pill pill scale pill to selection additionally yes. <clears throat> you can choose the scale size for each primitive so say 10 centimeters and add a new one and it's much smaller than previous Additionally, it's, you can set it so it rests on ground or it does not. <clears throat> Let's do one ten centimeters. Good. So forth. See the difference there. And that's for each one. Set the number of segments that you would your new cube will come in at, or any of the other primitives. Like this. You can see it's now segmented. <clears throat> So you'll find underneath the arc tool, the text tool, the 2D primitives. You adjust those in the properties. The next new bar down from the primitives set is this bar here that includes some of my kits and pieces of kits that I've generated, created in the past. Uh, randomizer, foundation kit. This is the measure between selected elements kit uh, tool as part of the construction tool kit. And this last one is a new one call, uh, for um, uh, refining curves. Uh, or actually, uh, sections of along a, a, a polygon like, like 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 this. To use it, set, just select the vertex in order, click the button, set the number of vertex you want to have in that corner. I'm gonna use five. Press enter, and you, and you have that. Next step: select the new the polygon line that's generated. Utilize, remove edge, keep vert and you have a new polygon with new topology. The next bar down that's new to the common tools is this third party row. If you don't have or want these displayed, you can come into the preferences common tools dialog and turn them off like so, or only show what you want. As time goes on, I will likely add more to this bar as I add them to my workflow. Or add third-party kits per request from my customers. This next road down is for opening or quickly executing scripts that are stored at a location specified in the script path. You can use any path here or click here to get the default location for your uh, Moto script folder. For any script, select it, enter any arguments or enter for none, and it'll execute the script. This is just for demonstration. It will also show in the menu bar. You have to click in the menu bar to make a show, but once it's there, it's, it, it's, it's, it works. It's the Moto update bar aspect. You can also disable it from the toolbox if you don't want it there. This section is a collection of tools that I use from Moto 
that are I use frequently, but not frequently enough that warrant a shortcut key or a dedicated button. So section for section for vertex, edges, polygons, cut. Cut is the is all of the dialogues for Boolean solid drill and stencil or axis drill that as for with, uses the background mesh as the driver. If you need the dialogues, they are here. Some topology tools and some UV scripts. These scripts are from Warren Marshall. Uh, I found them useful, so I, so I put them together and added them here. Another one is Edge Flow. Is there's a link for it? It's a, I find it very popular, uh, very useful. Mario Baldi is the creator of this, and I recommend getting it. If not, it will not. Uh, I'm not including this in my kit. You need to have this as as a supporting this this kit. It does not require to use the Common Tools Plus. Okay, some of the keyboard shortcut enhance, uh, workflow enhancements that I've included in this are as follows. I currently have Alt-A for action items, Alt-F for falloffs, V for mirror and clone. With this one, if you use uh, Shift, once you bring it up, once you V, and then you use shift, you change it to instance, or control, and bring it to replica. You have to move the, uh, the, mercy, the cursor to get it to uh, refresh, but you can easily get to all of your options there. Additionally, we have enter to rename an item. We have slicing, so select your item or whatever, but slicing alt C brings up all the slicing tools. Quick draft which is brings you to a render screen, uh, view, and that's using Shift-Tab. Of course, you can rename all of those and more in the Preferences folder. I've also included the capabilities of Key Shepard's Viewport Master into the kit. The capabilities of this, of this tool take the options involved in the viewport properties dialog and save them to a text file to allow you to easily recall them at a future time. You can see here as I cycle through these options that they change the settings in that dialog to suit whatever function workflow you might have going at that time. With Moto 12.2, they've included this capability to add a dialog, pop-out dialog box to the side here. In doing so, I've generated, created a dialog box to suit the Common Tools Plus toolbox, as, as well as incorporate the properties function to the dialog. So if I want to work with the cube, I automatically have this pop up. But to maximize my, my screen size, I can have just my, the most commonly work using tools while I'm working, as well as the dialog, the properties dialog, without having to constantly use K or have it in, in the way of my workspace. Additionally, we have palettes dialog that are also found up under layout, palettes, and in this, in this dialog here. You see they're the same. Furthermore, to create this, choose custom A, B, or C, select this arrow, you want creation with properties or creation simple with properties. Simple does not have the element drop-down options like this one does, just with the creation with properties. For the bottom area, created essentially the, sa the same dialog box as this, but placed here. 
to include Viewport Master here as well. So now you have a nice large workspace. Let's get rid of this. That doesn't interfere. Another option is to use this one, which has all of the element options with the buttons showing. And if I use simple, I'm not duplicating anything. I have just this space. If I still need to get to the items dialog, I can open it up over here with the dialog here or open up the left side as well. When you're done, close it like so. All tools available as you need them, but without taking up space when you don't. Another capability that Common Tools Plus Kit has is Weighted Edge Tool. Using the keyboard shortcut zero up in the pie menu, you can select the edge weighting based on these percentages. From zero to its default for sub D all the way up to 100% creasing. In addition to that, if you're working with multiple edge weights so you have multiple uh, let's go over here and select this turn this to 17. you're working on a model and you forget which ones are selected at um, which edges you've selected you select 17 you can easily find them Select like 33, nothing happens. We haven't selected that. 100, you can, so that way you can easily change that to 30, 17 as well. Go back here and we change this to 100, and so forth. These <coughs> select change the display count, uh, sorry, surface for sub D for the Catmull Clark. If I change this here, you can see that the three changes and it automatically recalculates the values for the uh, get an edge weighting. The final feature I'd like to introduce is the rounded edge function. You apply it by Starting with the pi command for using 9, the top row 9, and uh, from the pi menu, I'm going to select small to apply to everything here. And you can see in the, over here we have a nice rounded edge line. I'm going to select this box um, and I'm going to go large. These are set values at the moment, however, if we show our lo locators see this you can see the change from the large now if we go here we can change this the scene scale to something larger and you can affect how much so you can use those four relative sizes for any scene To create the bottom toolbar, you select an empty custom, in this case we'll use C. It creates a nice end wall, a single empty. There's multiple panels that need formers need to go in here, but we can only enter one at a time. So to start, let's put hover the cursor over this gray dot, hold the control down, and drag to the right. Do the same again, and move to this one that. Then go in here, toolbars, lower panel is for just the element edits and create section one through four is to have the 
this di the common tools dialog box in its entirety down here. So depending which type style you want, you can use this one, the creation lower panel, or create section one, two, three, four.